Hello and compliments of the season. I hope that your life is going well. Do you ever stop to think about how maybe technology has advanced too far? Because I do. The digital age. I don't even think we're in the digital age anymore. We're, we're past, we've progressed into the digital age. Like a black hole, but past it. The event horizon was the digital age and now we are lost. I miss the old times. I miss the old times when it was catalogs, travel blogs, chat room or two, and Microsoft Paint. The original Microsoft Paint, you know the one. Simple tools, simple execution, nothing more, nothing less. You're getting a paintbrush that's about eight pixels, you're getting a bucket tool, and you're getting a spray gun. That's what you were given to make art with, and by God did we make art with it. So I'm back today with the OG software, Microsoft Paint. I'm so excited, I'm extremely passionate about this. Big nostalgia trip for me, and I hope it's a big nostalgia trip for you. So without, <laughs> why am I talking like a game show host? So I asked you guys what I should paint on the old Microsoft Paint, and you gave me some good ideas. So I'm going to aim to do about 10 pieces of art on Microsoft Paint today and then I'm going to rate each artwork on a scale of 0 to 5. 0 being absolute trash, 1 being I don't really ever want to look at this again, 2 being it's fine, 3 being hey that's pretty good, 4 being that's a Microsoft masterpiece and 5 the highest rating being put it in the Louvre. Please put it in the Louvre. I have some bubble tea here to motivate me through this journey. I would say get yourself a nice little cup of tea and make yourself comfy, but no. Strap in, buckle up. We're going for a ride. We have Microsoft Paint open here. I hope you have absolutely zero expectations for what I'm about to create. But as I said, I did ask you what to paint, so I'm going to have a look through my requests. I got a lot of frogs. From since that was the vast majority of the suggestions, I will begin with a painting of a frog. Or a stack of frogs, as this person suggested. Just the sheer colour scheme of this application screams 1999. Such a limited range of options to, to choose from, yet so many possibilities. Right, I'm gonna freehand this with my with my brush tool. This colour palette box down here is like throwing me back as well. Like you've got the pastels, the coral. Let's do a range of greens. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god, what is that? The thing is, right, I've been practicing on Procreate, so I should actually be okay at this, but I've just got my Mac trackpad to make this with. Let's go with Paint Bucket. I'm gonna go with a luminous green. Um, I've done that frog way too small. <laughs> this is awful already. I can tell this is gonna be low on the rating scale. Better give them some eyes. I'm gonna go for the circle tool this time. <laughs> I hope that it gets better from here. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's go with another shade of green. Let's put some eyes. We need some eyes. The fact that there is no background color is making the frog's eyes look like holes. So let's make a nice background color. I'm gonna go for this pastel yellow. There we go. Look at that. Nice sunny day. Pupils. I hope that you can tell these are frogs and I hope that you can tell it's a stack. Oh, look, look at this. The curvy line. Let's give them some curvy mouths. Oh, <laughs> what? How do I stop using the... You click once and then you click again to make the line and then you curve it. I don't understand, but okay. Curve, nice. Oh, there we go. For the tongues, I'm also gonna pick my own color. Edit colors, yes. I'm gonna go with this more um, flamingo pink. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's coming together, I feel. My Microsoft Paint skills have severely declined in the years that I have not been practicing. Let's do a little fly. Oh yeah, and I can make the paintbrush smaller. So modern. Give him some froggy legs. <laughs> There we go, here is the first painting. Stack of frogs, pixel on canvas, 2021. I'm gonna give that one a, it's fine, but I don't really wanna look at it. Stack of frog, save. Oh, I actually downloaded it to my computer. Okay, for another person's suggestion, we have a spooky garden. So in my head, I immediately think cemetery, gravestones, creatures of the night. We need an atmosphere. We need some vibes. We need some spooky ambience. So I'm going to start off with a midnight purple background. Could even go a bit darker. Let's, let's get imaginative with the colors. Dark purple. Okay, sick. Let's make a little ground moment. I feel like we also need a haunted house. That brown is... Not good. Hey, that's better. We have house. It would be nice to get some perspective on this house. My stomach really hurts, by the way. I'm in pain. And then let's create a polygon around where the front of the house would be. 
I'm not only an artist, but I'm a graphic designer. Let's use the Polygon tool more. I'm feeling the Polygon tool has unlocked a new power that I wasn't prepared for. Yeah, yeah, we're getting 3D. Okay, I'm clearly <laughs> sidetracked by the house. I need to actually make this look spooky. This garden is not spooky. It's not even a garden. Time to get out the spray tool. We've all been waiting for this. The big boys. I'm gonna go with this hideous olive green. That bush kind of got a bit out of control in the end. I kind of wish the spray tool would go a bit bigger. I need some like gravestones. I really want to utilize all the tools I've been given today. So I'm using the oval tool. <laughs> they look like iPads in the ground. Let's engrave our tombstones. Whose grave is this? RIP MSN. Messenger 1999 to 2013. Honestly, I'm surprised that MSN was alive until 2013. I thought it died way before that. For some reason I'm thinking of LimeWire. If you know, you know. The color palette here is so displeasing to look at. So let's quickly do a ghost. What did the MSN person look like? Can we just appreciate what a throwback this MSN icon is? Can I like paste an image into paint? Is it paste? Wow. This is so ugly. There we go. This is our spooky garden. <laughs> You know what? This is a zero. I'm rating this right now. This is a zero. I don't ever want to look at this again. This is absolute trash. Ugly garden. Moving along swiftly. I was really hoping I would get some new skills doing this, but it seems I've, I, I'm only going downhill. Okay, painting number three, which is a self-portrait. I've never really enjoyed drawing myself, but maybe Microsoft Paint will allow me to embrace the self-portrait life. I'm gonna actually rotate this canvas. Flip rotate, lovely jovely. Painting portraits aren't my forte, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I used to solely paint portraits when I was in college and studying art at school, but now now I never paint portraits, I just paint like frogs. My favorite color at the moment is orange. It has been for a while actually. Not that orange, that's a disgusting, horrible orange. Like a tangerine, a bright, a Cheetos orange you could say. So I'm gonna just draw my hoodie. Uh, that's my shoulders. I'm gonna draw it with the hood up. Let's do some hair to avoid the face a little bit longer. I went for the old side parting again since I tried middle parting in my last video and I really don't like myself with a middle parting. Taking great care with this. I remember when I was a kid, I spent so much time on Microsoft Paint. I used to go right in with that eight time zoom and and paint every pixel with such care. Now look at me, I'm just going about this willy nilly. The algorithm of modern life prioritizes convenience. We are but fish lost in the sea of modern life. <laughs> Let's um, finish this portrait before I lose my mind. Let's go for some nice blue eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the eyes like that. <laughs> my lips are kind of small. My lips are small, let's not lie. Delicious upturned nose there. Squiggly wiggly. I feel there is something severely lacking about this portrait. <gasps> Eyelashes, oh my gosh, I need to do makeup. Today I'm wearing a kind of like blush colored eyeshadow. I think this is the closest color to my eyeshadow, so I'm gonna go with that. I need this eyeshadow to look realistic, like the rest of the painting. Oh. <laughs> Success. Make the eyes a tiny bit bigger. Let's do some whites. Edit, undo. Try one more time. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you get the chance. I'm struggling. I'm blaming my trackpad for this. Right, I'm wearing some mascara today, so I'm gonna do some eyelashes. Taking my time, taking care, putting my energy into this. It's gonna pay off when I zoom out. Wow, I'm really putting the effort in here now. This is an accurate representation of me. What should I be saying? Actually, I'm not gonna do a speech bubble, I'm gonna do a thought bubble, since I have no one to talk to. That made me sound really lonely. I have people to talk to, but right now I'm alone. So I'm thinking, for some reason, the thing that sprang to mind was this paste lettuce frog. Okay, cool. So this is my self portrait. I'm gonna rate this a four because I did go in and put a lot of details into the eye area. So I'm going with four, a Microsoft masterpiece. Doesn't quite belong in the Louvre. I think I could have improved on the mouth area and also the details such as the Cheetos logo. But you know what? It's nice to have room for improvement in life. Life is an ever, ever, changing. Moving along to the next painting. Another suggestion I got was to paint dignity. Come on, Luann, you know what this is. I don't know what it is. It's dignity, God. In honor of Luann, I will paint dignity today. So let's give it a go. Okay, so according to Kirk, dignity looks kind of like a potato light bulb. 
like this. <gasps> nope, start again, start again, start again, start again. And then it slides down and back. And then there's like a line here. What the heck is even is that? Okay, I've actually lost count of how many paintings I've done, but the next suggestion is a Spanish casserole with Wait charisma. The concept really excites me, so I'm getting a reference image up as we speak. I don't think I've ever eaten a casserole in my entire life. Yeah, okay, so we've got some chicken, we've got some olives, peas, vegetables, took carrots, tomatoes. <laughs> I'm unsure how to give my casserole charisma. I feel like it needs to be smiling. <laughs> Literally just a Spanish casserole with charisma. So anyway, I'm giving this one a two out of five. Could have been better, could have been worse. Okay, for the last piece, I am in fact going to attempt to do a Van Gogh. And my artwork of choice is Van Gogh Starry Night. So let's give it a Van Gogh. I hate myself. I guess I'm gonna start with like a blue background. God, this software is laggy. It's almost like it's from the 90s or something. Okay, I'm gonna do this moon first. This is gonna take ages. The yellow in this painting is kind of just mixed in with the white. I'm gonna just have to do so many brush strokes for this. I legit just spent an hour doing the sky and the houses. Um, I completely zoned out. I'm just gonna finish off this piece with the crooked castle building. This castle building always reminds me of something from Lord of the Rings. Anyway, this obviously isn't Isengard. I think this is like Paris or something. This just looks like a big old peanut. A rotten peanut. Doesn't look like Isengard or Paris. Ta-da! We have Starry Night in Microsoft Paint. I'm actually pretty proud of this. It's, it's come out a lot better than I expected it would. I'm gonna boost my own ego and give it a five out of five. You can't tell me this doesn't belong in the Louvre. Please rip it to shreds in the comments. And that just about concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave a link to this in the comments so you can have a go yourself if you should wish to revisit the old Microsoft Paint. Anyway, I hope that you are taking care of yourselves. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.